Well, hey guys, this is That Movie Nerd here, and I'm here with Martin Kleba, who was in the Pirates of the Caribbean movies, which is a fantastic film franchise, and I'm here to talk to him and ask a few questions about that. Uh, my first question is, how did you get cast in the Pirates of the Caribbean movies? What was that process like? Uh, that was really interesting. We, I was actually working on um, another Disney film called uh, The Haunted Mansion, which Disney thought was going to be their big nest egg, and that um, Pirates was kind of like going to be, eh, we don't know what's going to happen. And uh, one of my stunt buddies was like, yo, Marty, man, you got to go, you know, check out George Rugi over there on the Pirates of the Caribbean. And I'm like, dude, I'm kind of busy already, you know, I'm working on two other films. And he's like, no, man, I really think you should do it. So I called the guy, uh, you know, they put me down. Yeah, for sure, we'll end up getting you some stunts. And then I brought my roommate, which was one of my best friends, to the open casting for, um, like, the background pirates and stuff. And I wasn't even supposed to be down there on the Disney lot. And, um, you know, one thing led to another, and the lady's like, okay, it's your turn. I'm like, no, 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 I, I wasn't asked to come down here. I can't I can't go up to the audition. She's like, no, 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 you need to go up. I'm like, no, no, I, you, you have to follow, you know, procedure. You don't go to an audition if, unless you've been asked. And uh, anyway, she said, like, I think you should go up. So I went up, and then you had to come up with a improv in front of Gore, uh, Verbinski, the director, and... Um, one of the fir first things he said, there's not going to be any I's and no R's in this movie. So don't do anything, you know, cartoony or stuff like that. Just act like what you think a pirate would do. So the two other guys that I was, two average-sized guys that I was with, we just kind of like went off the grid like some of the other guys and, you know, raped and pillaged the, you know, pretend neighborhood or the town. And he's like, all right. And uh, so originally when I was cast in the script, the character's name is... Um, Dirk, and it, it, you know, it talks about it, you know, these meeting the guys, and then um, Jack looks down, and he sees Dirk, who's a, you know, a small, they say a small pirate, and then looks back up and does the cotton thing and whatever, but um, Gore was just always so used to saying, hey, Marty, do this, or Marty, you know, can you do that? He just, he liked the name, because if you think about it, there's not a whole lot of guys, unless they're pr proper English, who have regular names. They're all like, you know, Barbosa or... Uh, you know, squam or I don't know, some stuff like that. So that's that's how we're gotten. Do you have a favorite memory on the set of the Pirates movies? Any of them? Uh, I know that must be a lot of filming days, but any one memory does that stick out? Just that Johnny and Jeffrey are uh, two of the best storytellers. I mean, and Jeffrey Rush has been, I mean, Johnny's been doing it since the mid 80s because, you know, he played Glenn and, um, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, but, you know, Jeffrey's been around for a long time, and so has Kevin, um, you know, Mr. Gibbs, and uh, just the stories, I mean, I, people back home, when I tell them stories about things, they're like, oh, I could listen to your stories, I'm like, you have no idea some of the stories I've heard, you know, those are the, but, you know, and just, when you're an actor, and you're, you're getting to watch people that, you know, you look up to, and learn at the same time, it's, um, it's a plus. I mean, if I could work with Michael Landon or Jimmy Cagney, you know, I would be in seventh heaven. So um, I'm still hoping to one day work with uh, Mel Gibson, and that would be huge. You know, otherwise, Johnny Depp, I've crossed that off. I've taken acting classes with Marlon Brando's first, Marlon Brando for six months. Um, that was pretty interesting. I had Michael Jackson, Elizabeth Taylor, Sean Penn. Whoopi Goldberg, all these famous people in the class. And here it is, you know, they're all, like, taking direction from Marlon Brando. And uh, so to be in a class, you're like, holy shit, there's Michael Jackson. You know, you're like, <laughs> and then he said hi to me, and I nearly wet myself. I was like, oh, my God, because <laughs> I'm a huge Michael fan. So one of the greatest entertainers of all time. Absolutely. Gone too soon. Yeah, absolutely. What movie that you have worked on, which is your favorite, and why is it your favorite movie that you worked on? Um, would you say any movie, or are you talking like the Pirates? Uh, any movie, uh, broad enough to any movie. Um, you know, I, I still got, I would, would probably still come back to Pirates, and uh, although I think Pirates 1 is the best out of all the five, number five rank, to me, ranks right underneath number one, but I had the most fun on two and three because it was the same crew from P1, and we were together for a whole year. I mean, we started filming scenes for three, 
and we didn't even have a script. Gore was just pulling stuff out of the air like, uh, I need a dead kraken and go perfect on this beach. And because we were on a, an, all, an island that was all black sand, it worked great. So we would shoot this thing and the writers would have to make something up. And you know, you got the, the two uh, dummies, Dumb and Dumber, uh, you know, Pintel and uh, Rigetti, oh, we'll sell it for pieces and you know, blah, blah, blah. And so uh, being a part of that, you know, being a part of the ride is one thing, but to experience that in all of its glory all at one time for a year and hit islands like St. Vincent or Dominica, islands where like, you know, they're considered, they're considered third world, but, um, you know, in their own way, they're, you know, they're first class places to be, so, yeah. On top of acting in the Pirates movies, you're also a stunt performer, and I found out that you were a stunt performer on Jurassic World <laughs> recently. Uh, what was that like? Do you have any stories on that? Uh, yeah, it's actually funny because um, I was sitting home one day, and uh, um, I, this is after I finished the movie and everything, and somebody's like, yeah, I, uh, uh, tonight Chris Pratt was talking about you because this is the East Coast. Chris Pratt was on uh, Jimmy Kimmel, and he was talking about you. I'm like, what? And he's like, yeah, you wasted his whole damn time talking about you. I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, uh, something about Jurassic World or something. So I ended up watching it that like that night because I don't normally watch Kimmel. And um, he was, uh, he asked him about, well, you know, explain to us, how do you act like you're struggling with a dinosaur and this and that? And he's like, well, you know, we have people that are, uh, we call stunt guys that are, sometimes they're just in mocap suits, mo motion capture stuff. And um, and he goes, right, we had this little guy, Marty. And, uh, and, you know, so I was struggling with, really struggling with Marty. And we shot it, you know, on how many times. And this one time, because it's really Bryce, Ron Howard's daughter, that knocks me off with the butt of the gun. And then he throws me at the same time. And he goes, I threw him this one time, and he cracked his head open, and he was bleeding. And I thought, oh, my God, I killed Marty. <laughs> and then, you know, then Marty stood up, and he's like, all right, let's go again. And he's like, oh, my God, I, th I thought for sure I killed you. And I'm like, no, nah, dude, I'm good. So I just put some spit on it. Let's go. Take it again. So, yeah. Well, I think I know the answer to the least part of this question, but I wanted to ask, what do you like about stunt work the most, and what do you like about it the least? <laughs> oh, man. Well, you know, I, honestly, I want to hear what you think about what would be the least. Well, I think the least would be getting hurt or, like, getting, you know, smacked in the head a lot. Yeah, I guess. I, um, yeah, I guess you could be. I mean, I'm not too worried about usually getting hurt because you're, you're, our stunt coordinators are so good that, I mean, they, they have things down to... You know, even if I'm jumping a car into a pool in Project X, they have the speed, the velocity, the the where you need to hit the, you know, just right for it to land and all that stuff. They have all that stuff down to a science and everything else is rigging and, you know, wires and all that stuff. So uh, today's stuntmen, yeah, they do more, probably more dangerous stuff, but they don't do it as dangerously as they used to. You know, it's like back in the day you did a car chase and you, you know, my buddy Corey Eubanks, he jumped the court, the the General Lee more times than anybody else, and um, nowadays they, you know, cars are so much more, you know, in tuned, and it's a lot easier to land these things. Where back then, you know, I don't know how many General Lees they must have busted up, um, you know, back then. But you know, next to the payday, I guess would be, you know, you don't get paid as much as um, as most people would think when you're putting your lives lives on the line. <laughs> One guy, I heard one time somebody got, because uh, normally you're supposed to give them your quote for like, hey, I want you to do, like for instance, this one guy um, was asked, what would, it, what would you uh, want to go from one plane on a, on a repel to another plane while they're both flying? And I, I, I think it might be um, Cliffhanger or all the, I don't know, one of those movies, somebody does it, the stunt. And uh, he's like, a million dollars. And he got paid, they gave him a million dollars because he was on no wires, and if that if that cable would have snapped on either end, if one plane would have you know jocked or snapped, you know he's gone without a parachute. So you know it's what is your life worth basically? So yeah. Well, thank you for taking the time out of your day to answer my questions. It's really awesome to talk to you, and you're really an you're really an awesome person. Oh, man, my turn. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> what are you doing tonight? <laughs> Are you not entertained? Fine. <laughs>